Hello and welcome back for another clarinet tutorial from Nottingham Music Excellence. My name is Chris Allison and I'm going to play this piece in the ABRSM Grade 1 clarinet book today called Menuet in G. Menuet? Is it Minuet or Menuet? Looks like Menuet on the page. Menuet in G by Petzold. Hope you enjoy the video. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so you've heard the music, let's say a few words about the detail. Now I would personally, if I was doing this with young players, I would try and avoid this one personally. Um, I just think young players do, you know, especially junior school players, tend to just struggle to find these keys. And when they do find the key, they're usually sort of slipping off another hole down here and, and it's just squeak city, you know, it's just um, a recipe for a lot of squeaks. Um, but anyway, that's not my decision. If you're playing this, you're playing this, you know, so I'm going to give you some help and advice along the way. But just be, just be wary of this one. Um, it's just littered all the way through with all these low notes. Um, I mean, I learned to play this lower F with the right hand, but I've noticed a lot of young players, when they tend to just find it a little bit easier to find the left hand low F, then they do the right hand, but I've started a little bit later when my hands were bigger. So you, you find what's comfortable for you. And I think just whichever fingering you're doing, just write it in the book so you know, so you know what you're doing. Um, but yeah, lots of low notes in this one. So make sure you've picked the right piece for your, for your size of hands, as it were. Um, okay, so again, a bit like the A1, got to demonstrate a really clear pulse here. So a three, four in a bar, and, and just give a little bit of a lean on the beat one in each bar, just to give it that slightly sort of waltz feel. Um, so. Also just something, perhaps this is a bit more advanced, but um, the low F, <clears throat> is actually one of the worst tuning notes on the clarinet. It's notoriously flat. Um, so just be, you might not be able to do much about it, but just be aware of that and, and make sure if you, if you tune up carefully, just make sure that you don't start flat, because if you start flat, um, those notes down there are going to be even flatter. Uh, so I think just be, just be mindful of the tuning on those low notes. So um, they do tend to be a little flat on the low F. Um, but I think on the positive note, um, on the plus side, these notes are the nicest notes kind of on the clarinet, aren't they, in a way? The Chalamo, as they're known, the Chalamo is, of course, um, the old sort of Baroque version of the clarinet um, that the clarinet was kind of derived from. Um, so the Chalamo notes down in the lower part of the clarinet really have got that nice kind of warmth to them. So if you do make a nice sound and you've got a good read on, this is a really good piece for, for showing, you know, how much sort of sound you can get down there. Something quite sort of dark and rich about those notes on the clarinet, isn't there? So I think also just on the phrasing detail, just make sure that you're not slurring the whole lot or tonguing the whole lot. I do tend to find with, with grade one pupils or just, just beginners in general, when they sort of learn to tongue on the instrument, they kind of want to tongue every single note. Or if they haven't learned the tonguing very well, they just want to slur every note. So just try and get the phrasing detail here. I think the da 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 dum, I think that slur to tongue to, if you can get that right, it's something that will follow you throughout your whole wind playing sort of career you know you, it's something that just happens all the time you know with wind music uh, at various different speeds of course 
But that slur to tongue to is is really key, I think. And it's not marked staccato, but I think if you just play it, da da ba ba bum, it just helps you know clarify that whole thing and just makes it sound really neat and tidy. And again, just finish up the piece with a nice warm dark sound. It does actually say diminuendo, doesn't it? Perhaps um perhaps we won't go too quiet at the end, but. So just to summarize there on the technical details, I think um, just make sure that you've chosen the right piece um, and that you are comfortable with those low notes. And remember, it's one of those pieces that you don't get any rests in there. So just mark on where you're gonna breathe. Don't leave it to chance. Um, the breathing points are, are easy enough, I think. And, and just give, um, just be really clear about that phrasing detail. Just be really clear with that slow two tongue two. And then I think you should be on for a super mark. Um, so I think that's it really on the tips and tricks. If you've got any questions, you can leave it in the comments section. Of course, click that like button if that's something you're into. And, uh, and also in the description, you'll find timestamps to the various sections of the tutorial and uh, my website if you want to contact me on there. I do lessons at home and lessons over Zoom. Um, so two different accompaniments coming up here. So the play along section, so you can play along with the piano accompaniment all by yourself at the speed that I played it at. And also I've got a slightly steadier version on here too. So play along with the one that suits you the best. And I hope you do really well for grade one clarinet. So that's it for this one. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.